we we joked and jested with that on Friday's show. And and it's it's gone a, a viral your reaction to it, <laughs> laughing lots. But listen, Sean Nice now is in, mm-hmm. is the the Everton manager. We sort of knew that was happening on yeah. Friday, but it was confirmed at two o'clock today. Is it just for him and Everton? Is it just about survival? If the one thing he does this season is keep him up by goal difference, is that success? I mean, success is... I won't really call it success because Everton Football Club right now shouldn't be where they are. But they are because their performances this season haven't been good enough. So I think when you start looking at the table and they're sitting second from bottom, um, still if they win one game, they, they can jump out of it. But I think when you're down there in a relegation battle, when it, it might be early on, I definitely think you have to th- this season has got to be about survival and that might you might think that's, there's no ambition there and I understand that for Everton Football Club that might be if someone at the start of the season said ah, your ambition this season is to stay up as an Everton fan I'd expect them to go you're winding me up you're crazy but the fact that been yeah, that uh, sorry at the beginning of the season it would have been what top 10 would have been like a, a more comfortable season okay even top 10 kind of you would have gone maybe top 10 but I don't want to be down near the bottom fighting relegation now all of a sudden they find themselves where they do I think it now becomes about re- about survival. If he keeps them in the division, then they kick on again next season. But you can't be thinking too far ahead. Now you've got Sean Dyche. You can't be thinking, right, here we go. Top 10, we're going to go in the next 10 games. Mm. Mm, it's not about that. It's it, about survival. If he was going to have like a three-point plan or a five-point plan, what would you put in it? What's the most important thing for Sean Dyche? Uh, I think so. The first one for me would be, you've got to get the fans on side. Now, okay. I think with this type of appointment, I think the fans will be on side because I think... I mean, Bielsa, the way that he plays is probably a little bit more exciting. I mean, there's no disrespect in saying that. The mm-hmm. way Bielsa plays football and the way Daesh is perceived to have played football at Burnley is completely different. But I think you've got to get the fans back on side. I think also as well, he's got to find a way of getting Dominic Cavalier in goals. That, that's important as well. They, they, they need a goal scorer. He's the most naturally gifted goal scorer they've got, even though he's not really prolific throughout his career, but he's someone who can put the ball in the back of the net. Mm-hmm. And also as well, I think when you're at the bottom, I think... You've got the two hard games coming up, Liverpool and Arsenal. I think one of them... Both them, live on TalkSport, by the way. Then you said about the point plans. I think he can't go in and go, right, he's got a free hit. Like, them two games don't mean mean anything because he's just got in the job as two hard games. I don't think that's a thing now. I think when you're at the bottom and you're scrapping for your lives like Everton are, there are no free games. I don't think you're getting a settling in period. So he has to go in and get results straight off the bat. Do you think Everton fans realistically would think they can get anything out of... You've got Arsenal as the first game, then Liverpool. Arsenal maybe and, and, and sorry, and the Arsenal ones at home, right? Yeah, but they've beaten Arsenal last season at home. Yeah, yeah. So, and the Liverpool game as well, they're not exactly firing on all tenders. So I think he can get a result against Liverpool. But it's, it's not one of them where he, he gets the job now and people are going, right, he's got Liverpool and Arsenal next. Um, if he doesn't get anything out of them two games, it's fine. He's not expected to. We'll go again after that. No, that's six points that you're leaving on the, on the, on the table. Mm-hmm. You're, trying, you're in a relegation battle. Every single point matters. Okay. Listen, we we'll take calls on all things Sean Dice. Everton fans, you know what to do. 0371722344. Just staying with Everton. Of course, Anthony Gordon now has gone to Newcastle. Mm. How do you think Everton fans will feel about the fact that he has left them down at the bottom there, his boyhood club, and he's gone to a club which could be giving him Champions League football for the following season? Do you know what? I think Everton fans would be really disappointed. I think, I think deep down, I think they understand the reasons why. Of course, you, everyone understands you, you've got a team at the bottom of the table and a team at the top of the table. That, that's obvious. Like you don't have to be a genius to work that out. But I think the way that he's conducting himself and the way he's gone about it is what will wind up the Everton fans more than anything because he's one of their own. Obviously, they're scrapping for their lives trying to get points. He's probably their best player, most creative player. And it's almost like he's gone, right, this has nothing to do with me. I'm jumping ship. It's not my fault. It's their fault. They're the ones who ain't playing great. I'm going to Newcastle. You don't can do with it yourself. Have Everton fans got a problem with it or can they understand that? No, they can, no, they can, they can understand the reasons for going to Newcastle. They're top, near the top of the table. That That's irrelevant. That, that's just normal. But it's the fact the way he's refused to train, he's got almost forced for a move and he's one of their own. That's what will really, mm. really wind up the Everton and, fans. And Newcastle fans, will they be excited about this signing? Because obviously when the window's open, you're pushing for top four, names are coming in, Anthony Gordon turns up, Turns up, will all Newcastle fans go? Okay, yeah, that's that's what we need going forward. Yeah, I mean, listen, he's a good player. Is he, is he the difference between them making top four or not? I'm not sure. Jury's still out because he's not played enough games for me. He's got listen. He's got the, the the ability, the attributes. We've seen that he can score a goal, but his performances this season haven't been like they were last season. So again, that's going to be interesting. But I, I think Evertonians, when you sit, you deep down, you think about it, you understand why he's made the move, but you're really, really annoyed at the way that he's done it. Mm. Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.